Well, Craig, not a really busy night for you last night, but you must be delighted with the result and the all-round outcome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not. It was. It's frustrating when you have a game at the weekend. Um, we were all very flat after the game against Coventry, um, and you've got to kind of wait a week near enough, just over a week, for another game. So. I think Joe mentioned it last night. You do kind of wish you had a game at the weekend, sort of, just to sort of put things right again. Um, but yeah, as in terms of last night, I thought we very, did very well last night. Um, set up a nice draw as well, isn't it, against Southampton? So makes it even better. Did you understand the magnitude of that when it came out? I've, I've heard, well, you, there's lots of fans that have said to me previous that they'd love to obviously draw them. Um, they've told me about past games against each other and stuff like that so it would be nice to finally see what see the uh, see it for myself How much did the Coventry game actually hurt a goalkeeper who actually wasn't at fault for any of the goals? You don't like conceding goals at all as a goalkeeper whether it's one, two or three um, yeah you obviously sit there and watch them back afterwards and see what you can do better but it's just it's, it's frustrating because the first one I think we've potentially tried to play him offside and it hasn't quite worked out. And you look at the last one, when you ever see a ball go through two people's legs? Clean. Um, so there's little bits here and there that are a bit like, kind of another day we might have got off with that, but ultimately we didn't. If I'm going to take a tiny little positive from it, we scored three goals and we got a point out of it. But we know that we ha- we should really have come away from that game with three points, absolutely. you feel there are occasions when your defence comes too deep in situations like that? Um, it's a tricky one because I, everyone during a game feels different ways and that generally determines whether people sit deep, whether people play a high line and stuff like that. Um, I do think when you concede, your natural reaction is to protect. Um, and it's, it's very difficult to tell yourself not to. So obviously you've got people on the side that are obviously saying, oh, you're too deep, you're too this, attack, attack, attack. And I completely understand what they're saying, but it is sometimes it is very tricky to do that when your mind's telling you, OK, well, we now need to sort of gather ourselves, not concede another early goal, and then start attacking again. You had a great start. This time last season, it's been a bit more indifferent. This, yeah, um, last year was there's no denying it was a phenomenal start. Was it 15 games or something like that unbeaten? So, yeah, it was a great start. This year is a bit more different. I don't think performances have been much different, though, in all honesty. Just results have have just not gone our way. Um, I can't honestly say in any of the games we've been particularly poor, really. but it all balances, it does, and I said this in numerous interviews last year, that it all balances itself out eventually. There'll be games this year where we don't play particularly well and we'll pick up points. We've we've played well and we haven't picked up points. And it is, it's just part and parcel of the football season. There's very much up and down. One welcome for you, of course, is your call up to the Scotland team. Long time coming. Yeah, and it's obviously a fantastic achievement and I'm absolutely honoured to obviously get a call up. It's... It's an incredible, incredible feeling. Um, it's finally happened. There's been quite a lot from this end anyway. There's been quite a lot of talks about how how's he not been called up, this, that, and whatever. But yeah, it's finally come around, and I'm I'm very much looking forward to it. Were you totally oblivious to it until it happened? Yeah, I honestly didn't have a have a real clue at all. I obviously you obviously look out for, of course, you do to see who you're competing up against, but. Until I obviously got the phone call. No, I had no idea. With you, it's the old adage, isn't it? If you play games, you get recognised. It is. There's no way you'll ever get better. There's no ways you'll ever really improve unless you're playing games. And it's that horrible circle where the goalkeeper, there's only one place on the football pitch. So sometimes it is very much bide your time when you get your opportunities and you have to take them. And thankfully for me... I've come here, touch wood. Um, I've taken my opportunities. I aim to not not sort of sit on my laurels, so to speak, and keep on pushing. Does this give you any more pressure or feeling of pressure to perform? Well, you've always got pressure. It doesn't matter whether this has come now, this has come along, or any other thing. You, whenever you step on that football pitch, there is pressure. 
you're ultimately out there to do a job and you're ultimately out there to perform to the best you very you can. So yeah, I don't I don't personally feel there's any more pressure on me. Um I know what I'm capable of and that's ultimately what I just need to remember that. And I suppose short term you've just got to think about Blackpool on Saturday. That's exactly it. Everything we've just talked about prior to that, the main game to think about at the minute is Blackpool. That's the next game, that's the one that we all have to focus on, the one I'm focusing on. And the aim is to get three points there and get ourselves back on track. And perhaps a clean sheet. Oh, another clean sheet wouldn't go down too badly either, no.